some CDs and a microwave. 10 seconds, here we go. Oh, oh that smell. What's up team, today we're gonna be doing a super cool and very dangerous experiment with a microwave and some CDs. So, let's get microwave. So we're back with the microwave. Uh, we're gonna be filming inside the microwave again with our handy dandy smartphone setup back here. Um, I'm just going to put this in the microwave and turn it on high. Um, I have some predictions about what's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be pretty gnarly, but uh, we're gonna shoot this in slow motion on the smartphone and so, well, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna do 10 seconds, because I have no clue what's gonna happen. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh. Alrighty. <laughs> Anytime the microwave, oh. Oh, that smell. Oh, that is awful. Oh, oh. Oof. Oof. Ugh. Yee. I don't like that. That sound always scares the crap out of me. That, that sound scares me. All right, take a look at the CD, though. How cool is this? What? That looks awesome. And that actually looks a lot like an opal in many ways. It's all like fractionalized, you know? I think that actually looks a lot cooler than just a regular CD. In fact, I might frame that. Ooh, it smells so bad though. Ugh, oof. I don't know what chemical that is. I think it's just a plastic burning, but it just smells so terrible. But that looks so neat. Like that just looks so cool. Ugh, 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 that smell. Ugh, awful, mm -mm, no. Oh yeah, the same the same thing happened, just wasn't as like disgustingly awful smell. Ten seconds. It's gonna smell awful. Here we go. <laughs> oh good. Good. <laughs> smells awful. And there's little smoke coming out. Oh, that one just got wrecked. They, it, it's interesting, actually. They kind of all fractionalize a little bit differently. See? I like that one broke apart. Dip like way differently. That one kind of looked more like lightning hit it, you know? And these look like more like, like wood grains. I mean, look at the difference between all these. Okay, so there we go. That's what a CD does inside of a microwave. Again, super dangerous. Do not try this at home. Um, I will have to say though, I was really, really impressed. I, I've seen a couple videos like this online and I was like, oh, that's cool, whatever. But seeing it uh, in slow motion and in person, I was like, wow, that's really cool. Um, you're probably wondering, okay, why does a CD light up like a Christmas tree that is pulsating inside of the microwave? Now, on the back side of the CD where you normally write like, uh, Valentine's mix, there is a thin layer of metal. And on this side, there is a thicker layer of plastic. As the microwaves are going through the microwave and they're hitting this uh, thin layer of metal, uh, that metal is starting to pick up an electric charge. At some point, that charge is so uh, big that it actually gaps. So the electricity goes from one side to, a, to a, the other right here, like in a little small, tiny mount. It's like a little mini uh, micro lightning. Um, and we can actually see that as a flash. That flash is actually so hot, that uh, gapping of the electricity is so hot that it actually starts to burn the CD. And so on this one, we saw it actually caught on fire and it was smoking and we actually saw a little bit of a flame inside, uh, that's what was happening. The plastic was burning because the gapping of electricity was so hot. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you super surprised the way a CD operates in a microwave? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.